What's up, everyone? It's me, Ashton Kamian. Let's talk about the war to Ukraine or the Russian invasion. Hey, guys, it's me, Ashton here. I want to tell you guys some update about the war to Ukraine. And, yeah, it is really crazy, you guys. I've been watching videos about it today. And, yeah, and yesterday, I want to tell you guys some, some crazy news. Um, sometime yesterday, um, I was watching a video... President Putin, if he did lose this war, um, and also if his government turned on him or any of his people, um, overthrown his, his, um, his area, his, um, his, um, home, um, he actually think about having each different, um, he actually planned to escape his country, going to a different country. Um, one, option one is going to China. And China's president said, China leader, and I just let know China's kind of helping out Russia a little bit. China said to Putin, if you lose this war, you will not visit, you will not live in China. And he said that because I don't serve any loser. And yeah, just want to let you guys know. And the other part is, um, is Putin is planning to escape to South America. And yeah, I want to let you guys know. If he get overthrown, he may go to South America to hi go in hiding, because I put um because his his um his people get overthrown just in case and yeah and I just let know if he does went to South America I have a feeling America and probably NATO country could try to best hunt him down they could ask South America each country to try to best um stop Putin who knows who knows. Any, I just let know anything could happen anytime. And yeah. And I just let know this is just a video I watch. Putin is planning to escape if his place get overthrown in Russia. And yeah, it's not a firm yet. And yeah, just want to let you guys know. And some other breaking news. Um, Today I was watching some history YouTuber named History Legend. Go check out his channel. He talked about the war to Ukraine and also talked about history stuff. And... He was talking about um, the Battle of Bagus. Uh, I uh, sorry, I said it's in the Middle East. Uh, I can't say the other word right because it's really hard to announce it in the Ukraine. We we'll start with the B. Um, just want to let you guys know, um, Bagus or something like that. Um, the city has been been getting attacked by Russian every single day and every single night, and Ukrainian soldiers are been holding out longer, and unfortunately. Um, the city has been much in ruin, and I was watching videos. You can see some apartment buildings are being destroyed pretty much. Really messed up. And there are some videos show some Ukraine soldiers. Um, there's one Ukraine soldier, he's a sniper. He's just hanging out, and he's just making sure if he see the target. And some Russian soldiers in the distance like to snipe him. Don't worry, he survived. But it hit the wall, and he freaked out, and he can't... What he did... He did the right thing, get down, um, I mean, he did the right thing to, to, um, get out of his position and head downstairs. Because uh, if he kept staying there, enemies know where he's at. And yeah. And you can see him just, just going to different positions downstairs, trying to get a better angle to try his best snipe the enemies. And yeah. Really crazy. And I have heard ports there are some tank battle raging on. In in close to that city, just some other towns, um, Ukrainian soldiers are are inside the tanks. From some are allies tanks, or some are just tank got captured by the Russians. They capture, and some of them are getting targeted by Russian soldiers. Or it could be some are saboteur, go sneak in the enemy line and blew it up the tanks. Two, it was Russian tanks or soldiers have thermals because I. Because it's pretty cold out there now. It's snowing. Some area in Ukraine. And the Russian soldiers are trying their best to hug her down. I mean, Ukraine soldiers are trying to hug her down in tanks. Trying to keep their their tank warm. And trying to keep their self warm. And the heat, because the Russians have some heat thermal. The thermal actually show the heat of the vehicles of this old, is running. And they targeted them. is really messed up. And also in that city... That I just I know, unfortunately, some tanks have been destroyed. In the city, um, one of the bridge for Ukraine's are for supply have been destroyed. 
Some were speculating Ukraine's accent destroyed the bridge for too early, or some said it was Russian destroying it. And yeah, just want to let you guys know is um, get this strain of salt. I gonna allow your opinion. Do you guys believe it was a uh, Russian destroyed that bridge or Ukrainians? To me, I kind of have me think about it could be Russians, could be Savator when high in enemy lines. Says this guy's like civilian. Who knows? And yeah. And the city of Bob Boots, or some of that, is not looking good, guys. I heard some ports, um, the um, Ukraine soldiers are losing a lot of men every day, or a lot of them are getting injured, or probably some are dying from their injury, unfortunately. And yeah, they could lose this this battle in that city. And and I heard ports, Russians are trying their best, their best, so cool the city. And yeah, and this is my opinion. I actually think, keep on fighting if the Russians have gained... Some territory in some part area, and it'll look like gonna be a Sukkoman. Yeah, get out of there. And yeah. And if the building are getting ruins and there's no place to hide or find cover, you maybe ban in the city in time. And yeah. And also probably mine the city too. Try to try to try to make it make Russian force get in there and blew their self. And yeah. Try and try and do that. And I wanna tell you guys some other news. In in the in the um region called um 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 Corson, uh, not Corson, um Crimea. There you go, Crimea. One of the beaches in Crimea um is the Russian territory. They actually put up um beachhead, and some of YouTubers spent like, yeah, these beachheads will not hold out, and because like, they're pretty pretty low, and yeah. And I just want to let you guys know, um, Russian forces are trying to put beach in, trying in case the Ukrainians did a beach invasion. And yeah, just want to let you guys know. And yeah, and also both sides are using drones. And yeah, and I want to tell you guys about those mercenary guys in, U in Ukraine are on Russian side. Goodness is today, I think it was today or yesterday, um, Ukrainians using their HIMARS have targeted a command center with, with the with those um, well-known um, um, uh, Russian mercenary, and and um, they were just hanging out in a hotel for their command center, and their command center had been destroyed, and a couple guys have been killed, and a couple guys have been ruined, and uh, there's a video of it. They show some Russian soldier trying to treat them, trying to aid them and stuff, because uh, they were got injured from the explosion, and you see them got. Well, some of them were on the ground, got hurt, or just don't know what just happened. And one of the guys, well, I think it was a camera crew, decided to put a put um blanket over him to keep him warm. And yeah, and I just want to know the battles in each each part of the front in um with a B is getting getting crazier, guys. And yeah, I just want to know it's pretty much a tug of war, no gaining ground really, just tug of war, pretty much artillery, artillery. Because I just want to let you guys know, there barely any actual gunfight with guns. It's pretty much artery, artery. And people I heard about, they said in World War One, most most people die from artery round. Barely any sh any boats rounds. And yeah, just want to let you guys know, it's really messed up. And yeah, and yeah. All right, guys, me Ashton, and I going out. And by the way, guys, I hope you guys like my video about the war in Ukraine. Hit that like button, two hit that subscribe button, three hit that bell button whenever I make an awesome video. Be number guys, I'm not forcing you guys to do whatever you guys want to do. And be number guys, you guys more free to comment me and ask me a question about the war to Ukraine, about any strategy or any ideas what Ukraine should do or Russians should do or anything guys. Let me know. And you guys more free to put a Ukraine flag or Russians or allies flag. And yeah. Oh, and one more thing I almost forgot to tell you guys. Um, um, Ukrainian president, he was talking to our president, American president, and luckily England and few other NATO country. They, we may give them long range weapon or aircraft, finally. Just want to let you guys know, I just want to know, don't get your hopes up. We don't know when or where it will come out. And yeah, I hope for we get them soon, maybe on New Year's or probably Christmas. And yeah, or probably just next year. Beginning next year. I'm just hoping to for. If not. Oh well. Part of life goes. Anyway. Alright guys. It's me Ashton. I go out. And peace. And me number. 
what I just said in a minute there. Hit that like button and stuff. Do it if you guys want to. Peace, everyone.